Okay, so session three will be focusing on mixing, uh, so specifically looking at the master fader on the right hand side of the screen there, um, and then also including or excluding instruments that are currently on the tracks. So um, what sometimes happens is uh, some of the tracks um, can be louder or, uh, or not as loud as others. So for example, uh, let's say, say Lion and the Lamb is actually quite loud and Nick asks me on Sunday, oh, because could you please turn it down a bit because it's louder than the other tracks, then um, I'll do exactly that. So that's where they all start, where they all start off. Um, and let's say, for example, corner sounds a bit loud or um, the worship medley is not loud enough. I'll just push it up a bit. So just so you know, it has an individual fader for each each song. Um, then looking at um, the actual mixing um, section of the of the app, we have um, the click track on the left. You don't have to worry too much about um, quarter notes, eighth notes and sixteenth notes. Um, most of the time we leave it on eighth notes or a quarter note bump with a softer eighth note behind it to give it a, uh, just a bit of a, a groove, a bit of a flow. Um, then you have your guide, which is the lady in your ear saying intro, bridge, chorus, verse, etc. Um, and then you have all your instruments. So um, on a typical Sunday, unless it's a, a, um, a living room session, I'll probably drag the drums all the way down or just keep it in the mix lightly because we have a Kahan and again, like I said previously in the first clip, we don't need um, auditorium sounding drums because it's unrealistic when um, when you look and listen at um, what we produce um, over in Woodford. So um, percussion I, I might leave in, depending on what the bass is doing, whether it's more of an electronic bass or a sub bass, I would probably bring it down a bit. Most Sundays when I'm leaving, uh, we have an acoustic guitar, so I'd actually take that out of the mix completely. And then sometimes there might just be elements, um, especially in some of the, the fuller songs, might be elements around keys and piano and electric guitars that might just be a bit too loud. Um, the key thing I want to stress here is that um, really take the time to prepare and like listen through the tracks and kind of see how they work together um, and where something audibly kind of just sticks out in terms of the feel and the vibe that um, that you really feel like God's laying on your heart when you're preparing a set list. Um, so in, in doing that, it also just really helps the technical team on a Sunday when you've taken a look through all the tracks and it's not just a plug and play type of thing. Um, this at the end of the day is like an instrument, it's a tool. It's something that we use to to facilitate the time of worship for people to engage with um, on a Sunday. So um, I would I'd really motivate you, encourage you to, to use the time to go through everything one by one, look at your transitions, kind of worship through that set list and see what that feels like for you. Um, just one other thing on uh, when you go to settings, you click on the right hand side, um, the top menu for this session for the for the sake of the screen recording. I've taken auto pan off, but please check that auto pan is on um, on Sundays because what that does is it splits the click track and um, also the instrument. So put the click and the guide voice on your left, and then the instruments on your right. It just helps that when we broadcast. And people aren't distracted by hearing the click track as well. So um, yeah, there's just a quick um, breakdown of how we'll, how I typically mix a Sunday morning um, or for a Sunday morning during the week.